Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and do a quick little application video. So the set I'm going to be putting on today is called Flora Good Time. So it's brand new, haven't opened it yet, so we'll go ahead and do that now. I don't have the best setup for this, but hopefully I'll be able to show you guys everything that I want to show you. So every set comes with the nail strips and let's get that out a um, nail prep pad and then a nail file so that's everything that you'll find in this packaging so each of these sets so this this is considered a set um, each set comes with 16 double-sided uh, nail strips so you see that you see eight right now but there's also uh, another set behind or another strip behind that um, so before we start, I am going to use the nail prep pad to clean off my nails to make sure they are in uh, good shape and as clean as possible. Um, don't put on lotion or anything like that uh, 15 minutes before or after applying your nails um, so because you just want them to uh, adhere to your nails as well as possible. So take a minute and make sure they're all nice and clean. And then I'm going to open our nail pack. So there's a little perforated thing right there. So open that up. Um, when you open up yours, go ahead and smell them. They <laughs> definitely smell just like nail polish because they are 100% real nail polish, uh, which is awesome because that means they come off with just regular nail polish remover. So you see that there are 16 nail strips here. Uh, all different sizes so if you have small nails they work if you have larger nails they work um, so yeah I'll show you guys doing it on my left hand um, today so I'll put that up there for later what I like to do before I get started is uh, set up and get set up so I know that the smallest one is gonna go on my pinky because my pinky nail is pretty small so I'm gonna put that there Oops. ready to use and then I'm going to take this nail and then kind of, you can take them apart if you need to, uh, kind of see which one is going to fit my nail best. So I look at that, I see, okay, it's good on that side, good on that side, it's not touching my skin. Don't want them to touch your skin um, because that can cause them to peel up and um, you don't want that. So that's good for that nail. Let me do another one on my middle finger. And same thing. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it in, in the camera. Looks good there too, so I'll line that up. And then you can use either end of the strip, so you can kind of tell, maybe you can tell with this one. So like this end is wider than that one, um, so you can use either end. And for this nail, I think I'm going to use the end by the tab. So kind of line that up. We can make sure that lines up well. Looks good. Put that one there. And then my thumb kind of cheating because I know I kind of know which ones work best for my nails uh, but this one line that up make sure that looks good I push back push back my cuticles and everything already so I'm um, ready to get started I'll put those just put those right there so um, I like to start with my pinky and then work my way in so you're going to um, take off this little piece that says peel off that is just a clear protective layer take that peel that off and then take the actual polish strip off of the backing. So again, I, um, I know I said that you can use either side, so I'm gonna show you how to use the side by the tab. Carefully, very carefully, peel the tab. And I might have a little extra, sorry, I'm trying to keep that on. I have a little extra there, but then I'm gonna take that and you're gonna just line it up with your cuticle press it on kind of stretch it stretch to fit oops there so I'm gonna push that down push that into my cuticle and then take this end kind of fold it down under your nail then use your thumbnail to perforate the edges so you kind of just push down hard on the edge pull it off and you're good to go. So you can see that I kind of got a little extra on my skin. You don't want to keep that there because it will cause the uh, 
polish to kind of lift off and so that is not good so you can just take your thumbnail and perforate that extra just like you did at the end peel that off there and so got one done so we'll do the second one and I'll actually I'm actually gonna show you guys a little a little technique with this one that's a little bit different um, to kind of make your strips go farther I'll explain that in a second so you do the same thing peel off that clear uh, clear cover then peel that off same thing line it up try not to get it on your skin press down come over to the side and then do the same thing kind of perforate with your thumbnail perforate all that oops and then peel that off this one is very good to use to demonstrate so sorry um I'll go back to this one in a second, but you kind of saw how I did that carefully so I can use this strip for this finger. So use the other end for this finger. Uh, oh, the nice thing about these is that if you kind of stick them wrong, you can just lift them up and re-stick them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get two nails out of that one strip. Uh, let's see. So we do the same thing. Just peel that down. If you're trying to do this, you kind of have to do it carefully to make sure that the the end doesn't fold down. Mine kind of started doing that on my ring finger a little bit, but that is okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing there. I keep getting them stuck on my on my skin, but that's the nice thing about these is that you can just use your thumb to get it off. Also, I'm sorry if I'm not showing these on the camera. I'm looking at my nails and not where the camera is, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing so kind of do that again also if you have a rubber cuticle pusher you can use that to smooth that smooth down the nails I've, I've got one I can show you so you would just kind of do this smooth down the ends and then so you used that one actually so then same thing peel that plastic off Peel the polish off, just get that stuck on. All right, stick that on, just kind of stretch it to fit your nail as you need to. Push it down, push it down, and then perforate with your thumbnail. And this you kind of want to really press press down gently um, but make sure you're actually using your thumbnail and you're doing dots and not dragging because if you drag it will not do good things not do what you want it to do so just do like that and dot them pull that off if you do end up with extras on the end of your nail you can just file it off with the file that you get um, you can just uh, file off the extra make sure you file downwards not upwards so um, sticks on as well as possible and thumbnail so generally you would wait till the end to do your thumbs because like you saw I've been using my thumbnails kind of as a tool to get these stuck on um, but I will do this now just to show you guys a full hand so you just peel that off same thing Stick that down, use your other thumb to press them down, kind of stretch them if they're getting bubbly, then just stretch and pull it, stretch and pull, and then perforate. And then do the same thing, pull it off, and peel the extra off push it down get the bubbles out make sure there's no bubbles and yeah that is one hand it's all dry ready to go I know it took a little bit longer than one hand normally would but um yeah so that is for a good time 
And if you have any questions about how to apply, um, just send me a message, comment on a post, um, send me a text, anything like that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.